guys, I'm excited for today's video because I have another inventory for you. Today we're gonna to be going over all of my hair, skin, and body products. It's a ton of stuff. And in January was the first time I actually filmed one of these. But in January of 2020, I did go through and calculate my numbers. I just never filmed it for some reason. So you will be able to see a little bit of progress, but I'm super excited and I am going to do it like I do a makeup inventory where I'm just letting you know the new things. I'm not going through and naming every single product. And I have a lot of hair, skin, and body products as well, but I'm super excited because I have brought down most every category and a lot of the categories, I brought them down by a significant amount. And that is due to decluttering and using things up. So if you guys are familiar with my rolling sample project pan series, I update that every month. And that is where I am reviewing hair, skin, and body products. That's where I show also my hair, skin, and body empties. My makeup empties are in a separate video. So if you ever want to hear any reviews about hair, skin, and body products, that is a series to watch from me, but I've decluttered a ton of things last year, but also this year I've decluttered a ton. I've used up a ton of things as well. And I actually don't purchase hair, skin, and body products very often at all, but I'm super fortunate to get PR from Derma E and Dr. Zenovia every single month. So I'm always having new products come in and in those categories. And then I do have a lot of little minis that I get in Ulta free gifts. This year I have tried to be more selective with what I'm keeping and so far that's worked pretty well for me. So for makeup, I actually have a goal number for all my categories. For hair, skin, and body, I don't. And that is just because, like I said, I do have PR coming in every month that is skincare. So it wouldn't be so easy for me because I do want to try those things out. And like I said, I don't purchase hair, skin, and body products that often where I feel like I need to limit myself to a certain goal number. Same as my makeup inventory, I do keep track of all of these products in an actual Excel spreadsheet that was created by Meg's Makeup 8 years ago. I will have the video linked down below where you guys can download the template and basically I just have mine organized into categories and then from oldest to newest and I just have on there the category, the product name, and the month that I acquired it. For these type of products it might also be helpful to have a column for the shelf life of products because maybe things shouldn't just be used or as new as some things might be good for six months or something else might be good for 24 months. So, you know, lots of different things you can do there, but I just keep it super simple. It works very well for me. It's super fun to take things away. Not as fun to add new things on, but that is okay. And then I do also have just a sheet that is all the categories by numbers. And I have just my inventory numbers from January 2020, January 2021, and then July 2021. So super excited to see that over the years. So also in my January video, I did go through and show you my storage and organization for all of these products. And I'm going to show you that again today because I have changed a lot of my organization or at least like move the products around it's gonna look different, not everything, but most of the things do look different and I did want to update you on that. So that is gonna be at the end in case you're not interested in that. It shouldn't be too, too long, but hopefully it will be interesting to see. So without further ado, here's my inventory. Start with makeup removers. I currently have three in January. I had six, so my numbers have gone down in this category. I've cut it in half, which is really exciting. And I had decluttered the lemongrass cleansing oil and I used up the Lancome by Facil makeup remover and the mini glow recipe and drunk elephant cleansing balms. So I still have one of the Clinique take the day off cleansing balms. I'm about halfway done with one. I still have that Lancome by Facil face. And then I did purchase another of the Clinique take the day off cleansing balms. I just get these when I can half off because they are a little bit pricey. I'm super happy with my numbers in this category. I hope to have the Lancome product finished by the end of the year. If I can finish that Clinique cleansing balm by the end of the year also, that would be great to just have the one. And that's really like the only product that I feel I need is that Clinique. 
Pore Cleanser Minis, I currently have nine. In January, I had 14, so my numbers have gone down in this category, which is very exciting. I decluttered one of the Murad Clarifying Cleansers and the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip, but then I used up a Murad Cleanser, a Mara Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser, Pure See No More Glam Glow Super Cleanse, Kate Somerville, daily foaming cleanser and the Codaly Vino Pure. So I've been through a ton of cleansers this year, which is very exciting. The new ones since January would be the Kinship Naked Papaya, one of the Philosophy Purities and that Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I hope to continue to get this category down, but I'm currently using a full size cleanser and I just want to use them oldest to newest. So really in my sample project pan series, it's gonna really transform to more of like skincare. I don't wanna just focus on the minis. I wanna use the full sizes too, which will just take a long time to get through. So I'm gonna try to balance having some minis and some full sizes that I'm working on at the same time. So again, hopefully this will get down by the end of the year, but we'll see. I will be washing my face regardless. Next we have my full size cleansers. I currently have six in January. I had four, so my numbers have gone up in this category. So I did declutter the Pixie Retinol Jasmine Cleanser, but the other three I had at the beginning of the year, I still have. And the new ones would be the Dr. Zenovia Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Cleanser, Derma E Ultra Hydrating Alkaline Cloud Cleanser, and the New Sticks Gentle Hydrogel Face Cleanser. And all six of these cleansers minus the L'Oreal I got for free. As you can see, I got this one on sale for $3, but the rest of these came in PR. This was an Ulta free gift. So yeah, it's a shame my numbers went up, but it wasn't because of purchasing. So I'm totally fine with that. And I'm excited to try all these different formulas. I'm using the L'Oreal one right now. For face scrub minis, I currently have zero. In January, I also had zero. So my numbers have stayed the same in that category. For full size face scrub, I currently have two. In January, I had one, so my numbers have gone up in this category, which is totally fine. In January, I had the Mara Badescu Botanical Exfoliating Scrub, which I used up. I really like that one, but I also really like these. The Pure Joystick and the Clinique City Block Purifying Charcoal Clay Mask and Scrub. Both of these I was able to get for a really good deal. The Clinique I had in a sample size I absolutely loved and the Pure was just something I wanted to try on a whim because I like the Tarte version so much. Using the Pure right now I still have a good bit of that left so by the end of the year I'll probably be down to one but I'm totally fine that this category went up. I feel that two is still not bad at all. For toner I currently have five. In January I had six so my numbers have gone down by one which is exciting. So I did use up majority of this jumbo size pixie glow tonic. I may have had like this much left and then I gave it to my sister because she needed a toner and I really wanted to try these other formulas even though I love glow tonic. So I gave that to her. I also decluttered a mini fresh, I think it was like a black tea essence. And then the new one that I got would be that Tower 28 SOS spray. I haven't used that one yet and I think I want to try to use it with my masks like like uh, protect you from the cooties masks. Um, I just haven't done that yet but I figure toner is the category that this falls into and then the rest of them are still the same. I'm currently working on the Pixie Retinol Tonic which should definitely be done by the end of the year. For serum and oil minis, I currently have zero. In January, I have 13, so my numbers have gone down incredibly in this category, which is very exciting. But I did declutter about half of these. So I got rid of all of the oils. That'd be one from Peter Thomas Roth, one from Kiehl's, one from Lancome, one from Marbodescu, two from Sunday Riley. Then I did use up three Sunday Riley Good Jeans minis, a mini Murad Vitamin C serum, a glow recipe their plum plump serum and then a sunday rally a plus serum and i did use up one of the keels midnight recovery concentrate oils that i decluttered the other one so i used up about half of these to clutter the other half which i'm totally fine with i just know oils are not for me as much as i try to incorporate them they're, they're just not my fave. So I'm super happy that this category is down to none. If it goes up any, that's okay. I know they will be freebies, but I'm gonna try to just 
stop working on my full sizes whenever I get minis use them up and then go back to the full size is my plan so we'll see if I have any at the end of the year but I'll be okay with that if I do for full size serums I currently have nine in January I had 10 so my numbers have gone down this category by one I decluttered the pixie overnight retinol oil the glow tonic serum the becca skin love serum and i used up the number seven early defense which i really loved and the new ones i've gotten would be the sunday riley good jeans and the dr zenobia hyaluronic acid peptide serum and the replenix vitamin c pro collagen serum so i'm totally fine with where my numbers are at now that i've used up all my minis i really can focus on these full sizes i'm currently using the murad and the sunday riley a plus which is almost done i also have this olay one open i was mixing with some moisturizers some body moisturizers i want to get back to doing that because i don't love that one on my face so i've got three open right now and hopefully the mirror one's gonna take a lot longer the sunday rally should be used up in the next month or so and then i'll move on to the next oldest nighttime serum but i don't feel too bad about this again most of these were freebies the only one that i purchased would be the number seven the skin food one and the sunday riley a plus i bought um, from some really great deal it was a free product you just had to pay for shipping which was six bucks but everything else I got as an also free gift or in PR for moisturizer minis I currently have 18 in January I had 33 so my numbers have definitely gone down in this category which is super exciting and I used up about half of those I did declutter several as well I decluttered one from Dermalogica Sunday Riley CEO, three Sunday Riley Ice Shiseido, one from It Cosmetics, one from Fresh, one from Mario Badescu, one from Pixie, one from Skin. So a lot of declutters there, but I did use up Neutrogena, Peter Thomas Roth, It Cosmetics Confidence in a gel and in a cream, and the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream I used up. So now what I have would be this nice belief stash over here. So I have an Aqua Balm, an Aqua Balm with Aloe Moisture Balm, Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask, the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream, the Water Sleeping Mask, Murad Clarifying Oil Free Water Gel, H2O, Dr. Zenovia Aloe Vera Blemish Soothing Moisturizer, Belief Sika Cream. Then I have one backup of the Moisture Balm and then all of the rest of these are backups of the Aqua Balm. So I'm really happy with this amount and I'm going to continue working on these again, oldest to newest. But I'm very happy with these and once I get this down I really am going to purchase the Aqua Balm and the Moisture Balm full size. I'm probably going to buy them in some holiday sets when the fall VIB sale or actually the friends and family sale comes around that's when I'm planning on buying them so I'm just going to try to work through as many of these as I can in the meantime but I'm super happy with my number in this category for full-size moisturizers I currently have six in January I had five so my numbers have gone up in this category I did declutter the pixie retinol jasmine lotion but the new ones I've gotten would be the Mara Badescu hyaluronic dew cream which was an ultra free gift and the replenix age restored nighttime therapy which was pr the rest of these are the same from the beginning of the year and i will start using some of these soon these are coming up as some of my older ones the bliss and the Too faced i think so i will start working on these soon but i'm totally fine with this number again especially because they were all free except i bought the bliss half off next we have eye cream i currently have one in january i had two so my numbers did go down in this category i decluttered the dr zenovia retinol recovery eye cream i didn't love it and i still have the belief moisturizing eye balm i have gone through a few of these this year and something that i do really enjoy and i also think that i will buy this in a full size during the sephora friends and family sale 
So I'm totally fine with this and I will get them at 100 point parks when I can because I do have a lot of points and usually I can use this morning and night for a whole month. So I think that's a pretty good use of points and I'm really happy having just one eye cream. For spot treatment, I currently have two in January. I had three, so my numbers have gone down in this category. I did declutter the Murad spot treatment. It just wasn't doing anything for me. I did actually use up a lemongrass anti-blemish spot treatment, but I repurchased it because I love it so much. And then I also have a Dr. Zenobia spot treatment that I have not used yet. My sister's used it and she really likes it. So I'm definitely fine with this number of two. I don't think that that is too many. And again, the Dr. Zenobia was PR. Next for peels, I currently have six in January. I had seven, so my numbers have gone down in this category, but that's for a couple of reasons. So I did repurpose that pixie peel and polish the original one. I'm going to use that on my body, so that will be with my body scrubs. But I did also declutter the hydrating milky peel from pixie and the Peter Thomas Roth Peel X. I've used that before. I'm just not great about peels. But something that I can use would be peel pads. And I do have a bunch of those here, as you see. So I do have these two different packages of the Dr. Dennis Gross peels. I've used one of these so far. So I'm working on this. That will be done soon. And then in January, I had one of the Dr. Zenovia glycolic acne peel pads. Now I have two. I also got the Replenix one in PR. And I still have that Derma E overnight peel. I definitely want to get this category down. I'm just not the best about using peels. I want to try that Dermot E, but I might end up decluttering it. Again, I'm just not good about those type of products. I might also try it on my body, but I definitely like the idea of the pad. So I just need to start using them, but I'm excited to try all these different formulas. For mini face masks, I currently have three. In January, I had seven, so my numbers have gone down this category, which is very exciting. I used up one of the Glam Glow Youth Mud, and then I decluttered the Bosha Peel Off Mask, and the First Day Beauty, and the Sand and Sky Mask. I just don't use masks very much, but I cannot get rid of Glam Glow, so I'm gonna make myself use these. I already used one, which was very exciting. Totally, I can just keep it up. For full size face masks, I currently have zero. In January, I had three, so my numbers have gone down this category, which is very exciting. I had three from Pixie and I've decluttered them all. Again, I just don't use masks. So then we have my sheet masks. I currently have two in January. I had seven, so my numbers have gone down in this category, which is very exciting. I did declutter the Pixie under eye masks and I used up the other one. So now I just have a Karuna face mask and then the Derma E under eye patches. So I definitely need to get on using these. I'm very lazy about these products, but I just need to get through them. I won't repurchase them. I'll only have these if they're free gifts or PR. For sunscreen, I currently have five in January. I also had five. Some of my numbers have stayed the same in this category but some of the products have changed. So I did have to throw out the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen Mini because it expired. I did use up one of the Tula. So I still have one Tula, still those First Aid Beauty. And then from Octoly, I had gotten the Super Goop Sheer Screen and their Resetting Powder. So I do have two Think Sport sunscreens, but I'm not counting those in my inventory because those are family sunscreens. They're body sunscreens. These are ones that just I'm using and that I'm going to be using on my face. So I'm counting these as skincare. So that's why I'm not including those other ones, which you guys will see when I do my little organization tour. But I still just have the five sunscreens. So I want to try to get through those minis because they will expire after that point. So anyway, I still have five. Not too bad. Again, all of these were acquired as freebies. For my full size shampoo and conditioners, I currently have 10 in January 18. So my numbers have gone down in this category, which is super exciting. I honestly don't know where that 18 came from because I really don't think I had that many and the way that I showed them to you last time you couldn't really tell so I have decluttered the DP Hue apple cider vinegar hair rinse and the doTERRA shampoo and conditioner I'm just giving that to my mom um, because she really likes those products and I have so many other things that I'm using instead but I, I honestly do not know where that number came from. I don't think I've used up any full sizes. So 
apologies but what I have here would be the Bosley Revive Nourishing Shampoo and Volumizing Conditioner for Color Treated Hair, the Hask Charcoal Clarifying Shampoo, Derma E Thickening and Scalp, scalp Relief Shampoo and Conditioners, two L'Oreal Ever Pure Blonde Conditioners, and the Joyco K Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock, which is what I'm currently using. I'm going to get to these products. I'm using some minis instead right now because they are a little bit older than these but I will get around to using these. So then for mini shampoo and conditioners I'm going to show them to you in two sections here. So I currently have 40. In January I had 62. So my numbers have gone down quite a bit here. I have decluttered some. I got rid of like all my living proof ones because I just don't like living proof. But I've used up several as well so I'm super excited about that. So this first grouping here are like specialty products. So I've got scalp scrubs from Briogeo, Kenra, Way, and Nature Labs. Yeah, Nature Lab. Then I've got some deep conditioners from Kenra, Living Proof, Authentic Beauty Concept, and this dry bar blonde ale is a mask then i've got some specialty shampoo so this is a sexy hair texture clear all shimmer lights which is a blonding shampoo and then this wella volume boo shampoo is just the one that i'm using right now along with that joyco full size as my conditioner so here's my specialty grouping so then here are all of my sets plus i forgot one more hair mask joyco defy damage the rest of these like i said are sets. so i have got three different types of Kenra volumizing breakage and then I have two sets of the beachy texture Redken color extend big sexy hair boost up Redken extreme Briogeo be gentle be kind the Wella brilliance for color treated hair Rahua for color treated hair two sets of the dry bar blonde ale which I love so I'm super proud that this is all I have left. Like, I think I can finish all of these in 2022. I'm not going to finish them all by the end of the year, but I'm super happy with how far I've come in this category. So for dry shampoo, I currently have 16. In January, I had 32, so I've cut my collection in half, which is super exciting. In January's video, I had to show you the minis and the full sizes separately so that they could all be shown on screen. But now I have got them all here together, which feels amazing. So I currently have six full sizes and 10 minis. In January, I had nine full sizes and 23 minis. So I've done a fantastic job and I have use some up i've decluttered several of just some formulas that i just don't love my sister was using a lot of dry shampoo this year so i gave a bunch to her i gave her all of four of my igk hair minis i gave her two bumble bubble preta powder i gave her five chlorine dry shampoo minis the authentic beauty concept mini i also gave her from the full sizes the dp hue apple cider vinegar and a wella dry shampoo but i myself used up two full size chlorines and then a bunch of minis as well one bumble and bumble one from frederick fakai so i've used up some as well working from home i haven't used as much dry shampoo as before so a lot of these left because of decluttering but i'm super happy to be able to give some to my sister so what i have left so i have one full size and three minis of the redken deep clean dry shampoo i haven't tried this one yet so i hope i like it then the beach waver second chance my favorite dry bar detox dry shampoo so i've got four full sizes a deluxe mini size and then three itsy bitsy ones although this one is a detox clear which has a different scent it's very nice so then the one i'm using right now is the way dry shampoo foam i only use it once the new one that I've gotten would be the Kristen S dry shampoo, which I'm excited to try. And then I also have the Big Sexy Hair dry shampoo. So super happy with this category. I will continue to buy the dry bar 
whenever it's on sale half off because it doesn't happen too often and it's my absolute favorite, but I'm excited to try these other formulas as well. For hairspray, I currently have two. In January, I also had two. They were the same two. So I have the Redken Triple Take and the Chi Firm Hold Hairspray. I don't use hairspray very often, so this is all I need. For my texturizers and volumizers, I currently have 14. In January, I had 16, so my numbers have gone down by two, which is great. Everything is the same except I did use up two of the Bumble and Bumble Surf Sprays, which is super exciting. I want to finish this one by the end of summer as well. I'm also currently working on this Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray, which I've had for forever. But the other ones I have here would be from IGK, Bumble and Bumble, Matrix, Sexy Hair, Frederick Fakai, Amika, Dry Bar, and Oribe. I barely use these products, but I just can't get rid of all of them. And lastly, we have my leave-in hair products. I currently have 17. In January, I had 21. So my numbers have gone down in this category, which is super exciting. So I have passed on several of the Purology leave-in. I love it, but I have others that I want to try. I also passed on two of the it's a 10 for blondes. I used up one of them. I've used up some of the Purology. I'm using one of them right now. And I used up a Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It hair styler. And the new ones I've gotten would be the two full sizes from Derma E, their scalp relief treatment and their keratin thickening spray. And I also have gotten the It's a 10 Blow Dry Miracle Shield Spray. So I'm pretty happy with this category. I'm just going to continue to use these up. I'm excited to try so many versions of It's a 10 because I really love their products. So I'm pretty content with this amount. So then for body products, starting with body wash, I currently have five. In January, I had seven. So my numbers have gone down in this category. I used up a lemongrass spa full size body wash and a mini Bath and Body Works Japanese cherry blossom. The other four have stayed the same. I am almost done with this Bath and Body Works Calm Body Wash and then I'll just have the four of those and I'm good with this. I will pick up some more in their winter sale. I usually will pick up like two at that time so I'm very happy with my numbers here. Not too excessive. Next we have body scrubs. I currently have three in January. I had four so my numbers have gone down in this category. I did use up my Tree Hut and my lemongrass mini scrubs. I'm almost done with that first aid beauty one. And then I've actually repurposed the pixie peel and polish. It was in my peel section. I've moved it to my body scrub section. I haven't tried it yet, but I think I might like that as a good substitute after I finish the first aid beauty to use on my KP. We'll see how that works. So my numbers still went down this category, which is great. And I'm just going to continue working on these products. I'm just proud of myself that I've made myself use body scrubs because I've had been really terrible about that previously, but this year much better. Next for body lotion, I currently have four. In January, I had eight. So I've cut my number in half, which is super exciting. So I did use up all three mini Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Creams, which I've had for forever. It feels like such an accomplishment. I'm very bad about using lotion. I also ended up using up the Lemongrass Spa Spearmint Eucalyptus. I cluttered their hand and nail balm and the Soap and Glory Hand Food Cream. So I have also used up a Derma E Scar Gel since January, but I got another one. I only have a few more uses left in that, so that will be done soon. And I still have that Derma E Eczema Relief Cream. So I've actually moved that to be something I'm using on my son. But that's something that I've just started doing the past week or so. So I'm leaving it in my inventory for now. But at the end of the year, hopefully it will either be used up or it will be something I'm exclusively using for my son. But then I do have the Derma E Vitamin E Cream, which is new. And this Hemp's Triple Moisture Body Cream, which is new. Also free gift. PR. So I am super happy that I got this number down to four and hopefully it will stay somewhere in this range again because I'm really bad at using lotions. I do have two CeraVe Itch Relief lotions and creams. I am not counting that in my inventory because those are 
something I count as like a medicine product, not as a regular lotion. I won't be using it on a normal basis. So then I have a new category, which would be self tanner. I got all of these as freebies in the past six months and I have seven products, which is a bit excessive for someone that has never self tanned before, but lots of different formulas here for me to try out. Eventually I need to get on it because I know these things don't last forever, but I have the Tan Luxe, the face illuminating self tanning drops, two little minis of the Saint Tropez self tan purity face mist, Saint Tropez self tan express foam, the Bondi Sand self tanning foam, Isle of Paradise body high glow self tanning serum and the Australian glow gradual tanning lotion. So very excited to try different formulas. Please let me know how these work for you and any self tanning tips because I'm very scared to try these. I've seen self tanner look a mess on people and I don't want it to look that way on me. So my other new body category would be miscellaneous and basically these are mostly a bunch of mega babe products that I want to be reviewing but then I also have some other things. So I've got the mega babe toe Dio odor blocking foot spray, the Chesto Presto clarifying body acne mist, Happy Pits detoxifying underarm mask, Rosy Pits daily deodorant, two of their thigh rescue anti-friction stick, and then the space bar which is a charcoal underarm bar. Then I also have this Kopari Pink Souffle Body Mask. I probably could have put that with my body washes, but it's a, kind of a random thing, so I just put it in this category. And then also the Pacifica Coconut and Charcoal Underarm Detox Scrub. So I'm excited to try all these different things and review them. They're just very interesting. And again, this is a brand new category. So now to show you my storage for these products. On top of my vanity is where I have a lot of my skincare products and some of my hair care products as well. This is my current routine, all products that you have seen in my sample project pan if you've watched my most recent update. So I've got a leave-in hair product, like a surf spray, toner, serums, makeup remover, moisturizer, eye cream, scar gel, and then cleansers, exfoliators, those are in the shower, which I'll show you as well. But I just keep all of these go-to products on my vanity where I do my makeup and my skincare. Then to the right of my vanity is where I have this five drawer tower. These are fabric bins. I got this from Big Lots like 10 years ago. I'm sure you can find similar things somewhere else. This is getting a little beat up and dingy but it still works so well for me. I don't have a need to replace it. And this has changed a little bit since last time. Mostly the last drawer used to have jewelry and miscellaneous things in there and now it's dry shampoo. So this is a full hair product tower. So in the first drawer is where I have the hair products that I'm currently using. So dry shampoo, hairspray, texturizer. I've got those little goodie hair ties, like tiny elastics, then actual hair ties, some claw clips, a hair donut, those little bags come with Anne Louisa jewelry. Got some tiny claw clips, which I used to hold up. My little baby hair is in the back. Some other miscellaneous clips. This organizer is also like 10 years old from the Target dollar spot. The second drawer is where I have all of my hot tools, brushes, combs. This is from Kitsch. They're like the scrunchy hair towels. Then the third drawer is where I have all of my unused texturizer sprays and the fourth door is where I have all of my unopened leave-in hair products and then the bottom drawer is where I have all of my unopened dry shampoos you can see my favorite is dry bar but I have some other ones in here as well then we have one of my other all-time favorite pieces this is a cube organizer from Target I've had mine for eight years maybe. I had this in college and you can buy these from Target still. So I have a ton of stuff here. This has changed a little bit, but it's mostly the same. So I'll go over the top first and then we'll go through the little cubes. So up top I have these two Sterilite 
three drawer containers that I've also had for 10 years. You can buy clear ones that are a little bit cuter than these, but these work just perfectly. I don't need to buy something new. And that's where I keep my sample size products. And then I have my perfumes right here. This perfume tray is from TJ Maxx. I do have a perfume collection, but I did just get some new perfumes. I've used up a couple things since the last time you've seen it. So here's just a little sneak peek. Juicy Couture, Dolce & Gabbana, YSL, Guerlain, Dior. I just love the way these look very cute. And let's go through here. And these have changed a little bit because I've been through so many samples and decluttered so many, which is awesome. I just have a sheet mask on top that I need to use. The first drawer just has my skincare foil samples. Second one is cleansers. The third one would be masks and sunscreens. This is a full size, it's a powder sunscreen. And on the right hand side, I have a little perfume sample. These Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads that I need to use. Then I have hair foil samples. Then I have all the moisturizers in one section. So these are all of my daytime and my nighttime. I've really done a good job getting this down. Then this bottom drawer here is where I have all of my backups of the Belief Aqua Bomb, which is my favorite. I always get little minis of these whenever I can. So I do still have all those backups, but they went from a bag to a drawer. So I've really downsized this sample collection in the past six months. So then to show you the cubes, here I have got my sample project pan empties, my makeup empties, this fabric bin. I keep receipts in here. I've got some cotton products. I used to have backups and makeup removers in here. Don't anymore, don't have any actual products in here, which is awesome. Then right here I've got makeup bags and brush bags and a travel mirror. In the middle here is where I have all of my nail polishes. Those boxes came from Big Lots again about 10 years ago and it's amazing how long my stuff has lasted for. It's crazy. And then in this bin here we have all of my unopened full-size skincare products. So there is a good bit in here. Mostly Dr. Zenobia and Derma E. And then right here has changed a little bit as well. It used to be just all of my dry shampoos and then mini shampoo and conditioners. And then I had the full size shampoo and conditioner somewhere else. But now I have all of my full size and mini shampoo and conditioners. And I've done such a good job working through these minis this year. I'm so proud. So now we're in my shower and I love it because it has this little cutout here where I can put my products, which is so great. So these are my cleansing products and shampoo and conditioner things that I would not apply at my vanity. So I've got my L'Oreal conditioner, pure face scrub, Clinique makeup remover balm, Bath and Body Works body wash, First Day Beauty KP body scrub. I have a lip scrub down there. If you're trying to use your lip scrubs and you always neglect them, put them in the shower. Razor, bar soap, and I'm using this Wella Mini Shampoo and this Joyco Conditioner, and then that's a face scrub for Justin that he never uses. But those are all my cleansing products that I keep in the shower. And then I keep the rest of my products under the sink. I know this is gonna be a little bit challenging to see, and I apologize for the lighting in here, but it's the bathroom. So I believe I got this off of Amazon. I have this one over here too that has like medicine and um, toothpaste and, bar soap and stuff like that. So this was a two section one, but this one I just wanted to have just a one drawer so I can put some stuff on the top and that's worked really well for me. So in the drawer down here, we have a whole new category for me, which would be self tanning products. All of these have gotten as freebies in some way. And then in the back we have a lot of body products. So mostly these are mega babe products that I want to test and review. I also have this Pacifica underarm scrub. So the store filled up pretty quickly. Like I said, all of this is new stuff, but things I'm wanting to try and I want to self tan, I'm just scared. But all of those things fit nicely here. Then 
aside from the basket, I've got some of these Think Sport sunscreens that Derma E sent me. And then in the back, I have other lotions. So this is Derma E vitamin E cream. I have this hemp's lotion. And then I have two lotions that I'm not counting in my inventory because these are more like treatment products. They're CeraVe Itch Relief Lotion and cream which I needed when I had pups rash from my pregnancy. I actually just pulled this basket off the top of the shelf to make it easier to see what I have in here but basically I've got some Bath and Body Works body wash backups. I have this Pixi Peel and Polish which I had actually decluttered as a skincare product but I decided I'm going to keep this and use it on my body so I'm going to have this in my body care inventory which you guys just saw. That's what I kind of just decided right now. And then I have this other body scrub here. Then here I've got some room sprays from Lemongrass Spa and just my scent. These are handmade. These are incredible. I love these so much. Then in this smaller pink basket here, which I again got like 10 years ago randomly from Dollar General. I've got a lotion sample from Josie Marin. And then I just have some Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer backups. And I did have some Sol de Janeiro lotions in here before, but those are all used up, which is great. So these are my other miscellaneous body care products. So guys, that was a look at all of the hair, skin, and body products I have. A lot, but not too bad, considering that most of that stuff I've gotten for free, and especially if you look at my numbers from January. I've done a great job narrowing down my collection so I'm feeling super happy about that. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing my little organization and storage at the end as well. I would love to know your numbers in all these categories. I think that would be super duper interesting and I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.